Good morning, Virginia. Why are you looking at me like that? It's actually 120. Can y'all see that? This is my kitchen. This is my brother. Say hey. Hello. Uh huh. Basically, today. Wait, I gotta introduce myself. Ha! Hey guys, what's up? It's your Leah. Back at it again with another video. You know the vibes. Am I right? Am I right? Come here, come here. Come here. I'm come here. Food. I don't care. Back at it again. Being a YouTuber is so hard. So basically, today, um, I'm doing. <coughs> I'm doing um, a rice water video. Now, if you don't know what rice water is, it's basically rice water, and you use it to like grow your hair. I mean, it has other factors, like other benefactors. Get it? Because like bena is like the Latin root for like good, so like, benefactors. Don't be so loud. Anyhow, such so as like. Strengthening your cuticles. No. <laughs> Wait, what's it called? It's not a cuticle, it's um, a follicle. A follicle, yes, yes. It strengthens your follicles, keeps them strong. It also helps, like, if your hair sheds a lot, it won't, or at least not as often. And yeah, like I said, it helps your hair grow. So that's exactly what the goal is. I have been working day and night this past week I have been exhausted you can see it in my eyes this is the first day this is the first day in four days I have been home being able to do the things I want to do with my life right stop shut up it's Monday so I figure you know what Monday trying the rice water um, it seems pretty fair, pretty pretty cool. I have my water bottle because this is what I'm gonna put it in. The rice water is in here. And I have this measuring cup because I don't wanna pour it in my spray bottle directly. I don't wanna pour it. You can't be serious. directly in my spray bottle with like from the bowl like that doesn't make any sense I'm gonna make a mess all the rice is gonna fall out we don't want that so this is why we have this little dip in the measuring cup right Christian I don't know. oh by the way while I was um, putting dishes away I found this fork isn't it so cool I made rice water before but I was never consistent I was never consistent with it, so I've never really seen any progress. I'll be doing it for the next three days though, because like obviously, um, what am I talking about? I can go ahead and start while I'm talking y'all's head off, so. Like I was saying, what was I talking about? I don't know. Okay. I was never consistent with it, but because I am home for three days. Did you see how, look at that. Look at how all the rice stayed in the bowl. Ooh. Look at that. No, tell me that's not cool. Got my spray bottle. I'm just gonna be consistent these next three days. That's basically all I was trying to say, but I can't even say it without getting distracted. Wait, there's a piece of hair on here. All right, y'all ready? You ready? Okay, here we go. Woo. Okay. I think this is actually a good amount to last me the next three days. I mean, I wish I could do it longer, but considering the fact that I have work on Thursday, um, I don't wanna go to work smelling like rotten cheese and milk, so. Which is exactly what the rice water smells like after a few days. As for the rice itself, honestly, I'm not gonna hold you. I love playing in rice water. Rice, I love playing in rice. Wet rice. Me neither, girl. Ask me why. Ask me why. Why? Why? Well, let me tell you. Because it's so soft. Like, it makes your hands feel like so soft for no reason. Like, what? But now I'm gonna head upstairs so I don't have to talk my brother's head off while he's eating. And I will show you the, the, um, me putting it in. Look at this. 
Is this not the best mirror you've ever seen in your days of living? I, I can't even like process the fact that this is literally the the prettiest mirror I've ever seen. Okay. <clears throat> I had to take a little commercial break. Actually, I don't remember the last thing I filmed. I think this is my first time coming upstairs. My beautiful room. Um, I actually have to give you guys a little like room tour once everything's done. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all the products that I use in my hair. Not that I'm really actually gonna use them right now, but that's it. <laughs> Look at that. So this is Miel leave-in conditioner and this is the mousse. Still pomegranate and honey. So these are literally the only things I use in my hair other than olive oil. And I put olive oil in my hair either multiple times a week. And by multiple, I mean like maybe once or twice three times maybe, or I'll do it once every other week. I really don't have a specific routine with that. I just make sure that I put oil in my hair as much as possible. And I um put oil in my hair every single time I wash my hair. And I wash my hair, like, don't come for me because I had this one boy in my freshman year of high school tell me like, what do you say? He was like, oh, that's so nasty. You don't wash your hair every day. You're not supposed to. At least I'm not supposed to. I'm not supposed to. I used to wash it every week. So, um, yeah, I wash my hair every other week. I keep looking outside because, like, it is about to storm and, like, the wind and everything like that is, like, circulating. <laughs> Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair out. Earlier this week, it was in braids. Um, I just put it in braids because, well, I was working and I didn't feel like doing a whole bunch of stuff. This is how we're gonna do it, okay? I'm gonna show you the length of my hair right now. Well, this is how it looks curly, right? This is how it looks curly. It stops in my shoulders, or at least a little bit above that. I'm hoping that the rice water will at least get to touch my shoulders, okay? Like, at least. So this is how long my hair is um, right now. Oop. I did recently straighten my hair, so it's a lot longer than how I'm actually like showing it. But obviously, it's not going to be 100% accurate because it's not straight right now. But you get the point. It stops right here. So hopefully, it'll be longer. I'm not going to sit here and waste any more time. I'm going to go ahead and get started. But I still want to talk to y'all while I'm doing it. Still kind of explain what I'm doing and everything like that. As you can see, I mean, even though I really didn't explain it, I did dye my hair. I bleached it. I was bored with my life and I thought, why not, right? I need a plan. I think what I'm gonna do is like split this up and then I'm gonna do like four corners. We'll start with this first. I'm gonna go ahead and get another scrunchie and we'll get started. But there you have it. I'm gonna spray this section. I also am sitting over a towel, by the way, so. I'm gonna brush it through the Denman brush. All right, so that's how it looks. And so now I'm gonna braid it. Braid, braid, braid. Y'all know something I found out this year? I am like a full Pisces, like the ultimate Pisces. You know what I mean? I don't know if y'all believe in astrology or anything. I do. I found out this year that I am a Pisces sun, moon, and rising. Like that's crazy. But it explains a lot the way that I just like come off as like such a ditz sometimes. It's just really like weird, you know? But it's like normal for me. Like I don't even realize that it's happening. Look at that. See? I didn't have this exact conversation with y'all, but I remember when I was like 12 or 11 years old, I had made this video, like a q and I think it's my first video on this channel. I swore up and down that I was a Virgo. I call myself a Virgo, but my mom says I'm a Pisces, so... I don't know. It was because um, when I had first started seeing like astrology posts on Instagram, it was like, oh, well, if you're a Virgo, you like this. Like if you're a Pisces, you like that. I was just like, oh, Virgo sounds like me. I must be a Virgo. I don't even radiate that energy. I have two sisters that are Virgos. My older sister and my younger sister Zoe, she, they're both Virgos. So braiding my hair, the whole purpose I'm doing that is basically just to keep the, um, rice water intact with my hair so it doesn't just like 
soak it all up and then dry out you know what I mean like I actually want it to like stay in my hair for a good amount of time rice water at least from the videos I've seen have all been like pre shampoo type things like before before you wash your hair put rice water in it I'm not washing my hair three days straight I'm not doing it like <laughs> I can't instead I am just going to rinse it out but I'm gonna leave it in my hair for like an hour let it soak up I understand that I braid slowly. I just really don't like messy braids. Like, I, it makes me uncomfy. The braids are in. Last one. I'm gonna have to be really conservative tomorrow and on Wednesday because there's no way that this is gonna last me three days if I keep spraying it excessively like how I'm doing right now. I don't wanna brush it through, but my hair is still dry. You know what I mean? Like. Because I don't want to pull any hair out. I want to make sure that my hair is soaked enough that I can just brush the brush through and not have any issues doing so. Because my hair is really thick and it will rip out if I um, brush it and it's dry. My natural hair has definitely made an entrance. Am I right? Am I right? I honestly wish it would grow back faster. Like I'm, I'm tired of the bleach. Really tired of it. For a while, it was like breaking off. Um, not because I wasn't taking care of it, but like bleach just damages your hair anyways. All right, my braids are in. Bleach damages your hair anyways, so I had to get a whole hair treatment, which is the only reason why I straightened my hair. I wouldn't straighten my hair for any other reason, literally. I, I hate straightening my hair, so. All right, time to put a shower cap on. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna put it over. Not that it's really dripping anyways, but I'm just doing it to keep it intact. We're gonna leave it in for, is somebody bike riding in the rain? Props to you. We're gonna leave it in my hair, keep it intact, keep the moisture intact. Okay, I will come back, I will rinse it out, and that will be the end of the video. And I will do like progression updates throughout this, these next three days. Okay, so I just finished, <laughs> I just finished eating ramen. I had ramen. Y'all don't care what I ate for lunch. All right, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I did not keep this in for an hour. It's been an hour and 46 minutes actually, so. Um, the sun is out now, it's not storming anymore in case y'all were still wondering about the weather. My hair feels really soft. I'm about to um, rinse this out and like even though, like I feel like people use leave-in conditioner after they wash their hair, I don't use it only for that. I use it simply like if I'm rinsing my hair and I need it to still look and feel good when I get out the shower. So I put in leave-in conditioner, mousse, and oil. I'm not putting oil in it though because I don't want it to like tamper with what I have going on right now. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go rinse it out and I'm gonna put everything in my hair and then I'm gonna show you how it looks like in the end. I'm most likely still gonna braid it though because I honestly don't want my hair out, so. Okay, I'm back. Honestly, I was just gonna like do it off camera, but I figured I might as well show you. So, um, I just got out the shower and I had a scrunchie because it was the only thing I had at the time. But So this is what my hair looks like. Fresh out the shower. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my products in and everything because I don't have a spray bottle anymore. Like we have um, the spray bottle that's like misty, but I don't like that one. I don't need a lot of leave-in conditioner because like I will be doing this exact same thing tomorrow and I really don't want to like waste products for no reason you know what I'm saying so and plus this is how I apply it by the way guys I don't section it or anything I mean sometimes I do like I'll um I'll take this part rubber band put it up like so and then I'll just like Bring it through this way, just so that way the top and the bottom both get some attention. And then, um, mousse. All I need one little squirt. Go in like that. Bring your fingers through or brush. Personally, I bring my fingers through and then I brush when I'm done with the section. So I, I know I literally just I don't section my hair, but I meant like I don't part it or anything like that. Yeah. So that's that. I just finished that one. And now this one, this one already has product in it, so I'm just gonna put mousse on it. But since you see how it's like split and everything, I'm just gonna... 
do one squirt for this side, one squirt over here. Yeah, let me get a mirror though, like so I can see closer, cause honestly, I hit my mirror. I just wanna make sure that I am actually doing what I need to do. It's kinda hard um, looking at the camera. For the most part, it seems to be pretty good, pretty neat. I really don't think I need to brush it any more than I already have. So now is the fun part. I'm gonna split it. Okay, it's done. It has the braid and the products are in there. So we're good. Hair is now done. I really do look like the Wendy's logo. So tomorrow um, I'm gonna redo this whole process. I'm not going to um, film that, nor am I gonna film my last day. I really don't see the point. In fact, I don't think that I will um, record this journey until next week if i see any progress thank you for watching this video you're cool you're awesome you're great you're fantabulous because you stayed if you guys want more videos like this let me know even though i just said i'd film another video next week um but yeah so i love y'all bye <laughs>